Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. So back to been great about the gives updates on a marriage to Latifa Didimeji after a curious fan asked her and some Nigerians react. It was just last year, December, that the Yoba actress Ming Kuibadi and Latifa Didimeji had the wedding ceremony. She was had the biggest celebrity wedding of the year. They had their traditional wedding ceremony at Ikiti State on the December 19th and the Kai wedding ceremony on December 22nd, which was in Lagos State, in Keja part of Lagos. It was well attended by celebrities all over the country. And over time, those two have become one of Nigerians' favorite couples. They are both active on social media platforms and people love to see them. Even before they agreed that they were an item, many people were already pointing out that they have a unique chemistry. They are also among the top successful young actors in the Yuba sector of Nollywood. Both of them also have a huge following on social media. Latif alone has about 3.3 million followers on his Instagram account alone. And Bimbo Yebade has about 1.8 million followers on her Instagram account alone. And during one of our question and answer sessions on our Insta story, one of our curious fans asked her that how is marriage life? Bimbo Yebade replied with a short clip and she wrote sweets. The short clip that was shared, Bimbo and Lati were posing for the camera whilst Latif jokingly sparked her ass. This was during her birthday. So it was during the birthday shoot for Bimpo Yibadi. A mixed reaction is I followed the short clip. As many Nigerians are reacting to this, some people are admiring their love, while others are cautioning her to keep things away from social media platforms. And a few others are praying for a love like this. These are some of the reactions. Official Bobby Frederick commented, No mercy, Ibe will spoil their marriage. Amen. Nigeria abroad moms also commented, Watching them makes me smile. May God continue to dwell in their home and mine. Amen. And Yiju Little Mary also commented, Love is sweet and with a good partner, it is sweeter. While some people are commenting otherwise and cautioning that, the social media user goes at the name Mimi Licious Gold commented, Stop discussing your marriage on social media. You know, no go here. Opera Joe also had that, You keep showing us about your marriage. Now we go scatter and more. Keep your home low key, please. Enemies, they will. Oman Baby also had that, you don't need to give updates on everything. Enemies of progress are watching. Just that Dan also added, I hope it's not audio love. Whilst Miss Anita is of the opinion that we need more stories online like this, and she added we need more positive marriage stories. Sleeky Babs also had added, some of you are so bitter. I mean, what's there to hate about this? God help us. Was the girl Ariana commented, may we not see the side that is not sweet? Was Dr. Sweetness added, nothing is perfect, sha, but it is wise not to get carried away with nice comments. These same people are still waiting for things to go wrong. They can only destroy what they know. Jola and Jola also added, people are intrusive. What were they expecting now to see? Bright Obina also added, pray that Messi Aibia does not remember your marriage. Obviously, people are using the recent controversy surrounding Messi Aibia's marriage. There are many more similar comments like this, with some people happy that they can see this type of love on social media, and other people cautioning her to keep her things away from social media platforms and not bring everything about her marriage to social media. For more recent news on those two, please stay with us. In a recent interview, some days ago, in an interview, it started a bit. Bimbo Ibadi spoke on how beautiful life has become since her marriage to Latifa Didimeji, and she also spoke on her work. And you know what? Life has been more beautiful for me since I got married. My husband is also an entertainer, and hence we understand each other. Life begins after marriage. I would advise younger ladies to know that life does not end when one gets married. If one has a supportive partner or husband, and one knows what one is doing, everything should be fine. Marriage is a beautiful thing, and it should not harm one's career. Also speaking about the work she has done since she got married, being Pei said, I have a lot of movies out there at the moment. Movies that I've featured in are practically uploaded on YouTube every week. I just completed the production of my movie titled Dollar for Douglas, and it will be released in April to Netflix and probably cinemas. The movie is a true life story mixed with fiction. It is about a passionate police officer who went after some hardened criminals that were causing havoc. In the society. One day he had an accident which resulted in memory loss. The criminals used to go after them, bought him 
to their side and became a more dangerous criminal. Most times I get inspiration from my immediate environment and the larger society. I'm also a businesswoman and I have a clothing and footwear brand called Ade Fits. I'm also into modeling as well as being a presenter. As my leisure, I enjoy reading. I write a lot too. I love cooking, watching movies, and listening to music. My favorite artists are Whiskey, Fowls, David Doe, Tiwa Savage, Fireboy, Simi, and Adekunle Gold. Also, within the space of two months, Bieber celebrated being a brand ambassador to about four reputable brands. She has been getting much watching endorsement deals, celebrating here and there. She was also named recently one of Echo's 100 top women at the Lagos State Government. This was quite an honor, and she shared it on our official social media platform. And for her husband, Latifa Didimiji, he became one of the highest grossing actors in the entire Nigerian movie industry, both in the English sector and Yoruba sector of Nollywood. He's the second highest grossing actor in the country. Many reports have said that Latifa is currently the toast of many producers in the country, so they're calling for jobs everywhere, both in the Yoruba sector and English sector of Nollywood. He's one of the actors who knew their craft and his delivery is quite exceptional. Some of the movies Latif has featured and include Kudi Klepto, Yogi, Once Upon a Time, Illuminera, Bipolar, Binobaku, Debt, Kutu, Ige Aladi, Adibin Piyomoba, The New Patriots, View, Brother Life, Junju, and Ila, Progressive Lost Club, Love Castle, and In Niger Christmas, just to mention a few of them. He's also a multiple award winning actor with several awards and nominations to his name. Some of his awards include the 2014 Udwa Movie Awards for Best Actor of the Year. 2016 City People Entertainment Awards for Best Supporting Actor of the Year. 2018 Best Honorary Awards for Best Actor in the Lead Role Yuba Category. And 2019 Best Honorary Awards for Best Supporting Actor of the Year Yuba Category. Some of his nominations also include the Best Honorary Awards for Best Actor in the Lead Role Yuba Category. 2016 City People Entertainment Awards for Most Promising Actor of the Year Yuba Category. 2016 Best Honorary Awards for Best Actor in the Lead Role Yuba Category. 2018 City People Movie Awards for Best Actor of the Year, Yoruba Category. 2019 Best Honor that was for Best Actor in the League, Yoruba Category. 2020 Best Honor that was for Best Actor in the League, Yoruba Category. And 2021 African Movie Academy Awards for Best Actor in the League Role. His very being play is also a multiple award winning actor with some awards and nominations to him. So this is a little bit about those two actors, Latifa like Didimiji and being play Oye Bade. We've come to the end of this episode where some Nigerians react. Has been paid by the gives a curious fan update on our marriage to Latif Adi Dimitri. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.